All right, now I'm going to show you something very cool. Keep watching the video. This video is going to be very interesting. Now here, I'm going to open Gemini application. And right here, I can see the uh, live button here. I'll tap on live. And now I have activated Gemini live. And at the bottom, you can see we have got two additional options. One is a video button right here. And the other one, I'm going to come to that in a bit. Then we have got the usual pause and close option for Gemini live. Now what I'm going to do is I will activate this video button here. Now you can see we have got the viewfinder right here. Now just check out this magic. Hey Gemini, what are you seeing right here? I see a bumblebee transformer toy, a green and white pothos plant, a smartwatch, and a couple of figurines on a desk. Did you have any questions about these items? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I get this bumblebee here in India? Yes, you can find bumblebee toys like that in India. They're sold at major toy stores, department stores, and online retailers like Amazon India and Flipkart. You might want to check out Hamley's or Toys R Us if there's one near you. Do you want me to help you find some online listings? Yeah, uh, how much is this going to cost and what a uh, model is this? That's the Transformers Masterpiece Movie MPM-03 Bumblebee. It's a collectible, so the price can vary. You might find it for anywhere between 5,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees, depending on the condition and where you buy it. Do you want me to help you look for one? Yeah, please. Okay, I found a few options for you. This one on Amazon India is around 13,000 rupees. There's also one on Flipkart for a bit less, around 11,000 rupees. All right. Uh, looking for more? Uh, tell me, uh, what is this? Okay. I see a white Samsung Galaxy Buds case. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about it? Uh, which model of Galaxy Buds that you're seeing here? Those are Samsung Galaxy Buds too. Did you have any questions about them? Uh, how do I open this? Okay, I see the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 case. To open it, just place your thumb on the small lip at the front and gently lift the lid upwards. Let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, yeah, uh, where can I buy this? How much is it going to cost? Is it better than the previous version of uh, Galaxy Buds? The Galaxy Buds 2 are available at most major electronics retailers and online. Prices can vary a bit, but they usually go for around 11,999 rupees. They're generally considered an upgrade from the original Buds, with better sound quality and noise cancellation. Did you have any other questions about them? Yeah, I'm contemplating between this one and the uh, AirPods, the latest ones. Which one is better? The Galaxy Buds 2 and the latest AirPods are both great choices, but it depends on what you're looking for. The AirPods have a more neutral sound profile and better integration with Apple devices. The Buds 2 offer a more customizable sound and work well with Android. Both have active noise cancellation and wireless charging. Okay, uh, tell me when you see something which makes sound here. I see a few things that might make sound, like the phone, the tablet, and the speaker. Did you have a specific device in mind? Yeah, I was looking at the speaker. Which one is this? That's a Sony speaker, but I can't quite tell the model from here. Could you get a bit closer so I can see it better? Yep, here it is. Can you see this? Yep, I see it now. That's a Sony SRSX P33. It's a great portable Bluetooth speaker. Are you looking to buy one? Or did you have any questions about it? Uh, how powerful is it? Is it good? The Sony SRSX B33 is a pretty solid speaker. It's got good bass and gets decently loud. So it's great for parties or outdoor use. It's also durable and waterproof, which is a nice bonus. Are you thinking of buying one? Uh, no, can you tell me which watch is this? That looks like a Samsung Galaxy watch, but I can't quite tell which model it is from here. Could you show me the watch face? Uh, can you tell me now? Ah, I see it now. That's a Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It's a great smartwatch with a long battery life and lots of fitness features. Did you have... Okay, there it was not able to recognize it well. Let me try this again. Can you tell me which Samsung Galaxy watch is this? 
That's the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It has a distinctive orange band. What did you want to know about it? You're wrong, it's Galaxy Watch Ultra. You're right. That's the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra. It's a really rugged smartwatch designed <laughs> okay. for outdoor activity. All right. Uh, I've got two different phones here. Uh, which one do you think is better for me? Okay, I see an iPhone and a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both are great phones. The iPhone is known for its user-friendly interface and strong app ecosystem, while the S24 Ultra boasts a fantastic camera and S Pen stylus. Are you looking for a phone with a great camera? Or is there a specific feature you're interested in? Uh, I want a good camera and uh, I want a good operating system. I'm into customization, so uh, I want to make my phone look uh, better with all the customization features possible. So which one do you suggest? If camera quality is your priority, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is a strong contender. It's known for its excellent camera system. However, if customization and a user-friendly interface are more important, the iPhone might be a better fit. Both phones have great operating systems, but Android, which the S24... Okay, ironically, it says for customization, iPhone is better. I'm not sure why is that so. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, this is still experimental from Google. So uh, probably in the future, all these facts can be uh, right when we search uh, some product or seek information about these products using this specific feature on Gemini Live. Now, whatever you just saw on Gemini is a part of Gemini Astra project by Google that aims to create a universal AI agent that can be truly helpful in everyday life. This feature is still under research and development, so we cannot completely rely on this. However, this is a fantastic feature which demonstrates the future AI capabilities. We just saw a glimpse of it right now it can do a lot more. Let's say if you're traveling somewhere, you can point the camera at uh, places or sites and ask about that to Gemini and it will instantly give you all the information that you need about that specific place or about whatever it is looking at. It has multimodal capabilities. It leverages Google's Gemini family of multimodal AI models, allowing it to understand and respond to various inputs like audio and video. Now this specific feature is integrated into Gemini Live and it doesn't stop there. This feature will be available Available on the other Google applications also very soon. And this feature on Gemini enables users to share their screen or live camera feed with Gemini for contextual conversations and assistance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the second option that we have when we enable Gemini Live that is this specific icon and I'll tell you what exactly it can do and later I will also tell you how you can get this feature on your phone. So let's go ahead. Now what this does is let me just tap on this. It says start recording or casting with Google. We can select entire screen. The single app option is disabled uh, at this point of time. I'm not sure why. If I tap on this, it doesn't work. Uh, let's select entire screen. Now it says when you are sharing, recording or casting, Google has access to anything visible on your screen or played on your device. So be careful with things like passwords, payment details, messages, photos, audio and video. So that is something which you should be careful about. I am not saying that Google is going to do something with that, but yes, you should not be sharing your personal data here. Let me tap on start. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Gemini about whatever is available on the screen. Can you tell me what do you see on the screen? Okay. I see a PDF titled Birdsong, the 24th of March, 2023 form. It looks like a plot map with numbered plots and their dimensions. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about this document? Yeah, tell me about serial number 17. Okay, for serial number 17, it looks like it's plot number 1200, located in the east area, and it measures 3,619 square feet. Is there anything else you'd like to know about this plot or any other plot on the map? Uh, can you find out a southwest corner plot? Uh, can you tell me the number? Okay. There are a few southwest corner plots. Plot 90 is 3,075 square feet. Plot 94 is 2,303 square feet. And plot 151 is 2,260 square feet. Do you want to know about a specific area size or any other details? Can you tell me what is the total carpet area of this particular floor plan? Okay. The total carpet area of this floor plan is 1,353 square feet which includes the balcony. Do you have any other questions about this floor plan? Yes. Can you tell me the total size of all three bedrooms? Okay. The master bedroom is 11 feet by 14 feet 10 inches. The other two bedrooms are 11 feet by 10 feet. Did you want the square footage or did you need any other measurements? I need the total square footage of all three bedrooms combined. Okay. 
The total square footage of all three bedrooms combined is about 441 square feet. Do you want the area of any other rooms? Uh, can you tell me the kitchen uh, size in square feet? Okay, the kitchen is 8 feet by 10 feet, so that's 80 square feet. Do you need the area of any other rooms? Can you tell me again uh, what is the size of the kitchen? Okay, the kitchen is 8 feet by 11 feet 6 inches, which is 92 square feet. Do you want the area of any other rooms? Can you combine the kitchen's, kitchen area and the utility area and tell me in square feet? Okay, the kitchen is 92 square feet and the utility area is 40 square feet. So together, they are 132 square feet. Do you want to know the combined area of any other rooms? Do you think I should keep this big size balcony or should I reduce it? Okay, I see the balcony is 9 feet 6 inches by 11 feet, which is about 104 square feet. Whether you keep it that size depends on how you plan to use it. A large balcony is great for entertaining or enjoying the outdoors. But if you don't need the space, you could reduce it. Do you have any furniture or activities in mind for the balcony? Uh, no, nothing specific. Okay. If you don't have a specific use in mind, you might consider reducing the balcony size to save on costs. You could then allocate that saved budget to other areas, like upgrading the kitchen or bathrooms. Does that sound like a good plan? Yep. Great. It sounds like you're leaning towards reducing the balcony size. Would you like me to help you estimate the cost savings based on a smaller balcony? Yes, tell me please. Okay. To give you an accurate estimate, I'll need some more information. Could you tell me the approximate cost per square foot for construction in your area? Okay, now I can do all this using Gemini. This is just an example I'm showing you guys. This can definitely do a lot of complex things as well. And just imagine the future with Gemini. This is just incredible. And uh, on one device 7 we've got the live notification as well that works on Gemini. You can see we've got this bill here on the status bar. I can tap on this to expand it and I can resume it from wherever I have left, which is just fantastic. You see, when I resume it, it is still on the screen mode where it is going to tell me what is there on my screen. That is just perfect. Now, let me tell you how you can get this feature on your device. Now, when you open Gemini and go to your profile, you will see this option called Gemini Advanced. Now, this feature is available only for Gemini Advanced users. And I have just availed the free six month subscription offer, which was available for the Galaxy S25 series. This is the S25 Ultra that I've got here. As you can see, let me just show you the screenshots that I've taken. Uh, here we go. Now, let me show you this first. Yeah, now this is Google One AI Premium. This comes with 2 TB uh, storage space and you'll also get subscription to the Gemini Advanced Features and this is available for free for 6 months. It's a 6 months free trial offer which came with the S25 Ultra. I did not avail it all this while but now I have just availed it and here it says starting from 5th October I will be charged 1950 rupees per month which is approximately 22 23 dollars per month which is quite expensive but if you're someone who make use of all these advanced ai features then definitely this is a great option you can see you will get these benefits if you subscribe to uh, google one Google One Premium 2TB comes with the following expanded storage across Drive, Gmail and Photos, direct support from Google experts, exclusive member benefits and you will get the Gemini Advanced with uh, the latest AI innovations, most capable AI models, priority access to new features, experience a 1 million token context window and you'll also get Gemini in Gmail, documents and more and 2TB storage which we already discussed and other Google One Premium benefits, all that you get which is going to cost you more than $20 or let's say uh, 1950 Indian rupees if you subscribe to Gemini Advanced. But if you have a Galaxy S25 series, you can avail this benefit for six months at least. You will get to know what exactly Gemini can do. And then if you want it, you can go ahead and subscribe or you can cancel your subscription anytime when you don't need it. Now, once you activate it, you will instantly get this feature on Gemini Live. You will get both these new icons here. One is for a video and the other one is for upload your screen and talking about it with Gemini. Now these are some amazing features which are now available. Go ahead and try it if you own a Galaxy S25 series and if you have any other phone you will have to subscribe to Gemini Premium for this feature. But I thought I'll just show you guys how this feature works. Definitely a lot of people will be using this uh, feature on Gemini Live. Let me know what are your thoughts about this. Drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. And if you're interested in this beautiful wallpaper application, you can go ahead, download it. There are some amazing wallpapers. Every day I keep uploading some new wallpapers for you guys. You've got both free and premium categories. You can go ahead, download the app and rate it on Play Store. If you can rate it five star, if you like the application, that encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. So go ahead, rate it as well. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to hit that like button for this video. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.